five, four, three, two, one. Greetings and salutations again, everyone. Welcome back to the Eden Wellness Alliance. And we're back up on, on the farm this time. We're actually, uh, we do have a subject that you can see when we upload this. But first, announcements. So what announcements do we have, uh, Mom? We've got... This some... Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. 6 p.m. on Friday night. 6 p.m. on Friday night. 2 p.m. on Saturday and 2 p.m. on sat uh, sat uh, 6 p.m. on Saturday at the Baymont Inn, Shiloh Drive, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Okay. Not sure if you got that, but I think you did. I think my thing can pick it up. But uh, those are our announcements for what we've got going on, stuff this weekend. But uh, what we're talking about today is the is grass-fed beef because we were out here working anyway we needed to do a state of the association and I figured hey well we'll just do one with the cows so there's there is a difference between grass-fed beef and beef that's grain-fed the idea with uh, the whole point of grain feeding beef is to get more marbling and more fat in the uh, in the meat itself and I know you you guys will just have to take my word for it, but uh, the meat that we grow here at home has substantially less uh, fat in it. It is much, much leaner, especially for cattle meat, uh, for bovine meat, excuse me. And that, that change in the fat ratio as well as the fat to meat ratio as well as the type of fats that you're getting can make a big, big difference in your health when you're eating um, grass-fed beef versus, versus grain-fed beef. Grain-fed beef will have a substantial amount more of omega-6s versus omega-3s. And if you remember our talk about omega-3s and omega-6s and the video we watched together from uh, Thomas Delar, it is important, especially in our modern diet, that you're getting plenty of B threes and that you're getting your body is supposed to have a balance of b3s and b6s now the omega-6s that we are getting right now in an average american diet is going to be 16 to 1 so you'll have th uh, 16 omega-6s and three omega-1s as an average that's a problem because like we just said those are supposed to be balanced you're supposed to have omega-3s and omega-6 six is balanced as they're going through your bloodstream so that you can utilize them effectively and get a good um, get a good amount of fat utilization going on as it stands right now most people are going to be b3 starved in their diet so it, choosing to get beef that you know where is grown whether it's grass-fed um, because grass fed is going to work best for you as a from a health perspective it can make all the difference uh, another thing to consider is that some people that have uh, grain allergies um, they might be more sensitive to the grass fed uh, to the um, grain fed beef because of how much grain those cattle are eating when they're when you're getting the type of grain the amount of grain that is needed to get that marbling effect that's a lot of grain that's a lot of fats for that for that cow so those grains hold over in the fat your body knows the types of fat that you're storing it's all adipose it's all fat tissue but fat tissue stores nutrients it stores toxins it stores different things that your body's holding on to and the leaner the meat, the better you're going to be. Well, I can't say the leaner the meat because ra rabbit meat's really lean and it's not always good to eat all the time. But uh, cattle meat has a good, if you get grass fed cattle, it'll have a good ratio of fat to meat. And you're going to get a lot more out of it as far as nutrition wise because your body will be able to better utilize those different nutrients. So. That is what we have talked about for today. 
Thank you for coming to the Eden Wellness Alliance's State of the Association address. I know we haven't done uh, one in the office for a while, so we'll we'll try to do that maybe next next week or something like that, so that people can see us back in the office on Thursday. But stuff had to get done on the farm. Anyway, we'll talk to you next time. Have a great day. God bless and enjoy. Bye.